Today, we're going to look at QDeveloper, which is a code assistant from Amazon, who are also the sponsor of today's video. You might be thinking, why yet another AI coding assistant? Well, this one is very different. Like other coding assistants in AI IDEs, it lets you direct it in natural language to write codes for you, and you can chat with your code base. However, it also helps you perform code reviews, which is one of the features I really like about it. And it's critical, especially in the age of web coding. I show different features of QDeveloper by building and modifying a web app, which will receive text input from the user and it will generate images. You can get started for free with a QDeveloper in the idea of your choice. I'm going to be using a variant of a Visual Studio Code. Before experimenting with this, let's look at this quick stat. QDeveloper has the highest reported code acceptance rates in the industry for assistants that perform multi-line code suggestions. And it provides security scanning capabilities that are critical in the age of AI coding. Okay, to get started, I am using a clone of Visual Studio Code. So here, we're going to look for extensions. So if you look for Amazon in Visual Studio Code, you're going to see QDeveloper. And we can install this. You can get started for free. So I'm going to select the free option. Let's hit continue. Then it's going to open my Amazon account. If you don't have an Amazon account, just sign up and create AWS Builder ID. So after creating my account and giving it access, this message is going to show up, which has request approved. And now I can use the AWS ID extensions in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so we are all set. And now I can show you how QDeveloper looks like. So the first thing you want to explore is the different commands that are available. If you type slash, you're going to see the list of different agentic capabilities. The first one is dev. This is extremely helpful if you are working with existing code base or if you want the agent to help you build a feature from scratch. We are going to spend most of the time in this video on the dev feature. Then there's a slash test command that generate unit test for selected code. Right now it's focused on Java and Python. The feature I personally like the most is the review feature or review capability. So it can identify and fix code issues. It also has a doc a feature, so it can add documentation or transform your Java specific projects. There are a couple of other options. One is help and the other one is clear a session. So first we're going to start with the dev capability. If you currently look at my project, there are no files. Let's say we want to implement a feature from the scratch. And our feature is that we want to build an HTML based web application that has a Python backend that leverages the replicate API and flux model. So the app should enable the user to input a text description and just generate corresponding images. Upon loading, it will display a centered input box with the placeholder text, imagine something. When the user submits a text, then it's going to make a call to the flux model hosted on the replicate API to generate images. And then it will also give the user the ability either to download that image or regenerate the image using the same prompt. And there are a couple of other requirements. For this application, I want to use the REST API. Documentation is available on the Replicate website. So I'm going to copy this documentation along with the set of requirements that I have, and we are going to provide it to QDeveloper. I'm going to let it do its magic. So in this case, it has to implement this feature or application from scratch. It does not have any existing code base. Later on, I'll show you how you can leverage the QDeveloper's agentic capability to modify existing code base by adding a new feature. QDeveloper actually shows you its progress. And then there's this human in the loop component where the human has to accept all the operations that it's doing, which I think is very critical in the age of web coding. Okay, so it's going to develop five different files for us. And whenever you run the dev command, it's going to actually show you which files were reviewed, created, changed, or deleted. Okay, so here are all, are all the files that it generated. Now, it also gives you the diff between the different files. 
right now we don't really have those files created yet because if you look at your workspace there's nothing so we actually need to review each of the file and then accept changes so i'm going to accept all of the changes at once and now if we go back and look here all of the files are here in our workspace i asked it to create a project structure which it was able to do and then it also provided me with step-by-step -step instructions of how to run this app now i already created a virtual environment called q so i'm going to provide my replicate api token and then i think we will be able to run this app okay so for my replicate api token i'm going to go to my replicate account just copy this token and then run it in the terminal okay so i think we are all set let's see if the app actually runs all right okay so there's another app that is using the same port let me close that and we're going to run this again we can actually see a web view here so this is pretty neat because i can directly see the generation so we, let's ask it to create an image of a llama okay so this is pretty neat it's able to generate the image if we click download i think it's able to download the image as well if we click regenerate it is also able to regenerate the image so it has implemented all the different features that we wanted okay and if you look at this message it says for the future task in this project i can create a dev file to develop and test codes as I, I generated this can improve the quality of generated code to allow me to create a dev file choose generate dev file to build code so let's do that and it will update the code base for us all right so while it's doing that let's go to this routes.py file this is basically the main implementation of the rest api call now like the other ai coding assistant it also has a number of features built in so for example if I ask it to add comments to document the working of the code, so it's actually able to do that pretty effectively. So the AI is thinking right now, and here it's actually showing me what comments it's going to add. Now, this is based on the IDE that you are going to be using. I am using the Tray AI, which is a clone of Visual Studio Code. Now, I can accept each one of them individually, or I can just click on accept. This is going to add all the comments at once also like other ides i can just ask it to explain this code right so it will again add some comments to the code base but the feature that i personally like the most is this review feature so if you ask it to review the code base for you it gives you two options review workspace that means it's going to look at all the files in the workspace and perform a thorough code review or you can just review an active file so we're going to ask it to review the workspace so it's started initial code review then it will review the code and it will then show us the results all right so here are the results i found one issue which is critical the other one is with medium severity and you can actually look at all the issues here so for example if you click on this it says package vulnerability flask is a lightweight web application framework right it also gives you a suggested fix so we can accept this uh, fix here uh, there's one medium severity issue you can also look at this also you can just ask it to explain what the issue is and here it's going to use the q agent feature to explain it will actually explain the issue to you as well and also give you the potential fixes for that one more thing is that it will give you suggested follow-up questions which are really helpful especially if you want to learn more about best practices now it can also help you write unit tests so the way this feature works is that you can provide a specific function so i'm going to just copy this and we're going to specify that function for which we want to write unit tests. now the agent has to figure out where that function is and then write unit tests for that so you can see that it's, it says generating unit test for the following method in routes.py. So it was able to locate that specific function. And then right now it's writing unit tests for it. So this is extremely powerful because you want to have very good coverage when it comes to testing for all your code base. So let's say we accept this and then you can run these yeah, unit tests to make sure that the code is supposed to do what it was designed to do. Now, Q developer is really good at adding new features. 
So let's say we're going to start a completely new chat session. And now I'm going to use the dev command to implement new feature within our app. This time I want to add a new button labeled edit image to the user interface. When this is clicked, the button should allow the user to provide a new prompt to edit the previously generated image. Upon receiving the new prompt, send both the original image and the updated prompt to the designated API to receive the edited image. And I'm going to provide it with the REST API for this image editing tool. So here I provided that plus the REST API. Now it has to actually understand the code base and then implement this new feature. Now, since we did not give it any context, so it has to identify which file exactly it has to update. That means it has to index the whole code base. So here it came up with a list of changes and then the files that it wants to modify. Okay, so here it made those changes and we can see the diff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just accept everything and let's run this and see what happens. So after some back and forth, here is what I got. We can click generate image. It shows us the image of the llama. And now if I click on edit image, it shows me a different text box. So let's see, can you add water to the background and clouds to the sky? Okay, so we're going to send this and let's see what happens. Okay, so pretty neat. It added water in the background as well as some clouds. Okay, and then just like other AI code developers or IDEs, it also has the ability to add either folders, files, or existing prompts as context to the agent. So Amazon Q Developer is a powerful agentic system for code assistance. And I'll highly recommend to check it out. Link is going to be in the video description. You can get started for free. And there is also a developer pro tier. So do check it out and let me know what you are able to build with this. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next one.